If you've heard the news that you can now edit lifecycle stages, I'll show you how to do just that in this video, but a few things to think about before you dive in. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. HubSpot users have long talked about this property called lifecycle stages that has been set in HubSpot and you can't edit it. Well, most recently they announced that you can edit it, but it does come with some limitations and things to think about as you do that in your portal. So before we do that, let's take a dive into the platform and look at where this is and then talk about a few things to consider before you jump in and start changing things. So the lifecycle stage is going to be found inside this contacts area. So we're going to be here in settings and then contacts, which is over here on the left-hand side under objects. So in our contacts, we've got our setup, we've got the associations and then this new lifecycle stage. So again, if you don't yet have this in your portal, it's probably coming, but this is what it looks like. So we've got, if it's new to, the, to you for the first time, HubSpot will probably walk you through this with a five-step tour. But at a basic level, we're going to have a couple of things here. We'll come up to this automation in just a second. But down below, we've got this configure of stage names. So this looks kind of similar to when you set up deal stages where you've got the deal um, stage and then we've got some one of a, a column on the right-hand side. What this does though is shows me the lifecycle stages that are currently in HubSpot and how many of the contacts inside of HubSpot are using this particular stage. So here I've got a lot of leads. Again, other things we could talk about as far as like getting those people either cleaned out or moved to the next stage. But I've got all of these stages and then we actually did already add a new stage inside of HubSpot that we're using called former customer. So here's where I think the implication comes in. So think about this from subscriber to lead to marketing qualified and sales qualified, opportunity customer, evangelist, and other. Those are the set stages that HubSpot has given us since the start of the company. Now, if you think about the definition of each one of these things, this is where things get a little tricky. For companies that aren't doing a lot of inbound with newsletters and that sort of thing, they might say, why do I need a subscriber? Okay, now you could actually delete subscriber if you don't want it. Now you could actually delete evangelist. There's a lot of companies we've worked with over the past several years, not a lot of them have used evangelist. So, and for us, we found that the thing that we needed most out of our life cycle stages, we were managing this by using the other and then creating an other reason, which was just kind of messy. Keep in mind that life cycle stages are the one thing that help us understand where that person is in the customer journey. So when we get too crazy and we have too many options, they stop meaning what they should. So again, you can go in here and you can edit these if you wanted to rename them, but HubSpot's gonna throw up a bunch of red flags at you saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you have reports set up, you need to be very, very careful with how you edit these. So again, what we decided to do in our organization was we're gonna add a new one and then we're gonna start to have folks defined by what former customer means in our um, definition, it's going to be folks that worked with us. They might not be someone who was, I mean, they might've been happy, but they might've just shifted directions or they weren't a good fit for us anymore or vice versa. So we're just gonna put them under a former customer. Now up at the top, you have the ability, what used to be done with workflows. So if you set someone, you know, if someone does this, then we set them at this life cycle stage. We've got some things that are kind of no brainers now built into life cycle stages in this area. And we've got when a deal is created, let's automatically make those folks an opportunity. We used to manage that with the workflow. Now we've got that here in the back end. So that's it. That's how to edit your life cycle stages. Be very, very careful with great power, comes great responsibility. And that's definitely here more than ever inside the new HubSpot life cycle stage edits. For more tips, tricks, and how to's, hit that subscribe button and we will see you next week.